All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of speculating, you know, make a few predictions on this channel about what potentially is coming for part two of this year's Goku, Gohan, and Go 10 Day celebration on Global. Because recently I've been getting a lot of questions from people and I think everybody is just super, super curious about this part two since it's kind of this huge question mark at the moment, right? Usually, if we want to know what's happening for a campaign on Global, we can just look at what happened on JP. But this time, we can't do that since JP never got a part 2 for the Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta Dual Tokan Fest campaign on their side. So, um, anything is possible right now for the second part of our Goku Day celebration. And uh, I do believe that it's gonna be a global first unit that's dropping in part two. And one thing that makes me extra confident about this fact, about this guess, is this super cryptic tweet that we got from I Seriously a couple days ago on Twitter. And by the way, if you guys don't know who I Seriously is, he is this very well-respected French data miner. And his tweet basically amounted to telling people to stop summoning on the dual Dokkan Fest banners in part one and save their stones for part two of the celebration. Now, this by no means confirms that we're getting a global first unit, but uh, I do think that I seriously knows a little bit more than the average person. And I don't think he would say this unless he knew that potentially something big was coming for part two. All right, so the question now is really just what this character, what this unit is actually gonna be. And I've been doing a lot of thinking recently, I've been talking to a few people about this, and I've been able to narrow down my guesses to four potential characters. So the first thing, the first one that I wanna talk about is probably the most unrealistic one. It's the one that I really hope happens. It's probably the one I want the most, but it's the least likely just because it's kind of too crazy, too hype of a character for Bandai to make it a global first. And that, of course, is a new LR, MUI, Master Ultra Instinct, Goku. All right, now, let's talk about the reasons why it makes sense first. Number one, it's a Goku, right? It's the Goku Day Celebration, so a new Goku would make a lot of sense. Number two, it's been a super, super long time since we've had a UI Goku of any kind on Global or JP, right? I think he first came out, the Int one first came out on JP like three years ago. And then a few months later, we got him on um, Global as the Christmas banner. And since then, we haven't had any kind of new UI Goku or MUI Goku on either version, even as a free to play unit or anything like that. So we are super, super overdue for one. And it's Goku day. And if they want to drain our stones before the five-year anniversary, a LR, MUI, or even just a TUR. It doesn't have to be an LR. I think LR makes the most sense since it is MUI Goku, but um, even a TUR would make a lot of sense for that reason. And that's my first prediction. But the reason I say it's not likely is because it's just too crazy, man. It's too hype of a unit. And I think that JP players would literally start a riot. All right, they would spam... <laughs> Um, Bandai and Dokkan's like Twitter page, social media pages, and just be super pissed about it, right? And we know that, okay, this this isn't like a global versus JP thing, but we know that Bandai really, really wants to keep their JP player base happy because that's where most of their revenue comes from. So for that reason, I just don't really see it happening. I think that if we do get a new MUI, it's most likely going to come to JP first, if not on both sides at the same time, maybe for like the upcoming download celebration after the five year anniversary on Global. I think that's much more likely. Maybe for the download celebration, we'll get like a new, you know, MUI Goku in a full power Jiren, maybe transforming LRs of some kind. That's definitely possible. That's much more likely. So, like I said, I want this to happen. I would love if it did happen but I don't really see it happening. All right, so with that out of the way, that's the least likely one. Let's talk about the three other ones that I think are uh, have a much better chance of actually being the new unit for part two, all right? So uh, the first one is a LR Ultimate Gohan. And of course, Ultimate Gohan makes sense because 
he is part of the celebration. It's Gohan, Goten, and Goku Day. Even though I only say Goku Day most of the time because that's kind of the one that really matters, I guess. But no, Gohan is part of the celebration. His day is part of it as well. So a new LR Ultimate Gohan would make a lot of sense. Number one, because it's been a while since we've had a new Ultimate Gohan. He, uh, the STR one was released, I think, like two years ago, and we haven't gotten a new one since then, as far as I can remember. Yes, okay, so I don't think there's been an Ultimate Gohan in a while. Number two, um, we're kind of on this like Boo Saga theme at the moment, right? So LR Ultimate Gohan, or just an Ultimate Gohan in general, would be part of that saga, obviously. It would fit the theme of the celebration even more so because it's Gohan Day and also the Boo Saga. So those three reasons make me believe that a LR Ultimate Gohan has a pretty good chance of being the next unit. And also, if you refer back to the, what do you call it? The legendary election we had a couple years ago, when we eventually voted for uh, LR Vegito Blue, right? They actually have been making all the uh, LRs that were a part of that list, part of that election. At this point, over I think half of the choices have been turned into actual LRs already. So Ultimate Gohan is just, you know, it's it's an inevi inevitability. <laughs> English is hard sometimes, guys. It's an inevitability. It's really just a matter of time, right? And speaking of that list, actually, um, the other LR that I'm predicting is also on that list, and that would be an LR Kid Boo. And once again, similar reasons to the Ultimate Gohan, it's Boo Saga, and uh, it's been a while since we've had a new Kid Boo. Even though we did just get that new Transforming Boo on JP, Kid Boo is not part of that card, so it doesn't really count. And uh, he is on the list, he is going to be eventually uh, made into an LR and it just kind of makes sense to drop him now for part two since we are in the Boo Saga theme once again for the celebration. And the last prediction that I have is uh, one that a lot of people thought was going to come like last year for the 300 million download celebration that ended up being the LR androids which I personally was okay with because you guys know I love the androids especially Android 18. But a ton of other people were expecting this guy, which was the LR um, Spirit Bomb. No, not Spirit Bomb. The LR Bi Guys, Super Saiyan Goku, right? And of course, he's not part of the Boo Saga. It's the Cell Saga. But since it is Goku Day, and since um, we have these like unused Super Saiyan Goku assets we found in the game from the 300 million download celebration. I think eventually they were planning to make this Bi Guys Super Saiyan Goku, and now is as good of a time as any, right? For Goku Day, it makes sense. So that's a third prediction right there. LR Bi Guys Super Saiyan Goku. So there you go, guys. Those are the four predictions I have, the four things I've thought about over the past couple of days, and uh, I don't know if you know, any of them will actually come to pass. I mean, I do think that all of them eventually will be made into LRs. The main question is, Will any of them actually come for the Goku Day celebration? Or is it going to be something completely different that I haven't thought about yet? Like a new LR uh, Goten. <laughs> I think it's unlikely. I didn't say Goten just because he's not really a hype enough character, in my opinion, um, to get his own, you know, Dokkan Fest exclusive card. Although I could be wrong, you know, they've done some crazy stuff before. Like they released LR Bojack pretty early. Um, when we didn't have that many LRs yet, and that was just kind of a weird thing. So Bandai definitely is um, liable to make some weird choices. It could be like a Garlic Jr., for all we know, right? Even though it has no bearing, has no relation to the Goku, Gohan, and Goten Day celebration, they could just randomly drop it on us. So I don't know for sure. All right, I have no idea, but those are four characters, with the exception of the UI Goku, that I feel like have a good chance of being the new card for part two of the celebration. And that's pretty much all I gotta say in today's video as far as what I've been thinking about recently, but I would love to hear your opinions too. Let me know in the comments down below what uh, your predictions are for the new unit, potentially new unit that's coming for part two of this celebration. Do you agree with my guesses or do you have some completely different characters in mind? All right, let me know in the comments down below. And once again, before we go, just an extra disclaimer, uh, we might not even get a global first unit. I just think it's fairly likely. We did get the LR Grow Bros last year, so they might want to continue that tradition of uh, 
giving us a new unit, a global first unit for every Goku day, right? But it remains to be seen, it's still completely wide open and uh, hopefully it doesn't end up being a huge disappointment once it happens. But that's it guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.